Morning, we're here at Ocean's Edge here in uh, Chatham, Massachusetts, Jackknife Cove. We've got the kayaks all set to go. Now all I need is some unsuspecting person to go jogging by and uh, maybe we can talk them into trying it. I think I just found somebody. I'm gonna have her paddle out about 10, 15 feet, switch on the motor, have her move across the beach, get an idea of speed of it. Then we'll see how she feels about motorized kayaks when she comes back in. Now we'll have her hit it and see what she thinks. Do you like it? I do. It's something I would never have expected to want <laughs> on my kayak, but you know, there's so many times I get separated from my husband or something, and it's like it would be a great way for me to catch up because I get gazing around, and then you know he's way ahead of me, so I could definitely catch up and not have to kill myself paddling. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> quiet. Yeah, very quiet. So I think other people and manufacturers need to take a closer look at this because I think this is going to be the future of your boats. First of all, why would I even want a motor in my kayak? The whole reason that I bought one was to get away from noise and assist of any kind, didn't I? Well, you know, I thought that too, but here on Cape Cod we're constantly faced with changing tides and wind and even storms can come in quickly and unexpectedly. Here it is, the equalizer. Now I don't have to worry about any of that or fast running current, headwind, changing tides that I have to paddle against. My camjet gives me the advantage in those situations, and now it provides me with extra thrust to get past those currents. That sounds like it'd be great for my mom. She gets behind when we paddle, and that would catch her up quickly, wouldn't it? Exactly. There are many uses from the motor, for, from a trolling motor to inexperienced kayakers. In fact, I love to take pics with my camera when we go out with others. Often I become separated from the group because I'm shooting something or taking my time to set up a shot. This gets me back to the pack quickly. Really? How fast does it move the boat? About twice as fast as you can paddle. But I like to get in close to shore and slide over sandbars. Won't the propeller add to the draft of my boat and prevent that? It would if you had a propeller to worry about, but the camjet uses water induction technology. There's nothing under your boat to worry about, just a small inlet that allows the camjet to move the water. How much gas does it use? Is it messy to deal with? Not messy at all. In fact, it isn't even gas operated. It runs on electricity and uses batteries for its power source. Are they heavy? Can they be recharged? They're not heavy and they recharge overnight. They're lithium batteries. But the motor must be heavy. And the whole reason I bought this particular boat is because it's lightweight. Won't this add appreciable weight? Not at all. You see, the motor's only seven and a half pounds. The batteries, another seven pounds, probably 15 pounds total. And the motor is always with you. Oh, so it's not like those clunky propeller ones that I've seen people lifting in and out of their kayaks. Those seem so cumbersome. Indeed they are. The beauty of the camjet is that it's always with you. There's never anything to load in the boat like a prop motor. The motor is in the stern in its own watertight compartment, as are the batteries. If you decide to use the motor, you just simply flip the switch and off you go. Wow, that's great. You know, I can think of many uses for this motor. Lots of times we paddle out and forget how far we've gone. At the end of the day, I have to admit, it is a long paddle back. This would certainly help. Not to mention, if one of us were in the sun too long or were injured, we wouldn't have to rely on others for a tow. We would have our own motor for a quiet, easy trip back. Exactly. And if you want to enjoy a nice glass of wine as the sun sets and the motor purrs, you have your hands free to do just that. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Now, how long do you suppose I could run on a charge? The batteries are good for four to six hours, but what we have found is that no one uses it all the time. Unless you're trolling, but even then you tend to switch it off after a bit and just glide along when you fish. I agree. We bought our kayak years ago and we're looking to buy again, but it seems like the same old tired stuff. This would be a real attraction factor for us. And many others, I think. You know what? This is amazing. I have to get one of these. Can you make me one? You know, I certainly could, but I'd rather you go with... XYZ Kayak Company. They build a quality boat and now they have one in their line that is camjet powered. 